I'm just looking for areas that are lifting slightly and seeing if they're actually moving. Guan Yin gave us a really wonderful opportunity because the polychrome is very loosely adhered to the surface in areas. So in order to get it moved downtown and put it on exhibit and have mount making, it needs to be consolidated. And it just tells an amazing story of what's happened through the time when you start looking down through the layers. Conceptually, we've been talking about these objects have lives, they have a lot of stories, and then what the conservation team has done is they are looking physically, materially at the stories, at the baggage that these objects have. We had the whole piece radiographed, and it's really interesting. You can see some of the square tenons in the shoulders, which are an original type joinery. But here, there's a dowel holding the hand on. It's different than what you see in other parts. And the radiograph structure of the wood is slightly different. It's possible that a different wood would have been used. They've looked at woods in some of the other Chinese works, and they found some examples where later pieces have been put on with a polonia wood. So it could be a different wood on purpose, but it's also possible the whole hand has been added later. Conservation is preserving the sculpture for future generations. It is a continuum, and we're continually learning, and there's phases. Every time you get a little more information, then there's more questions to be asked. So what I try very hard to do is make everything that I do reversible. What Liz has been able to do is put the pigment of guanyin under a microscope, so you literally see the history of the pigment application. You're able to trace the stylistic differences. People, you know, perhaps in 1500 AD decided that they really were interested in having a gilded surface, and then later someone wiped that off and did something else. So when we talk about these works as living works, they really are. That's not really just a metaphor. They really have biographies. One of the neat things about being a conservator is you do spend so many hours very, very close to a piece. You start to realize how skilled the person was who originally did this, and it's extremely humbling. I mean, they're stunning. I mean, they're really beautiful with all the intricate painting and decoration, and you really can see all the different layers of paint. It really makes you realize how much time this thing has been here and how small you are in comparison. I mean, it's really, really amazing.